bait. But Mayweather has also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times. Also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times. Also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times. And stunned <laughs> He switched southpaw and then hit him with a lead right hook. Oh. People ain't doing that. Only people that's really doing that is like... It's like Terrence Cartman, he still ain't throwing lead right hooks like that. It's crazy. I tell my niggas to be patient, cause I know we about to win. The door to the game is open. What's up, guys? Back here with another video. So, this is a new segment that I decided to do. It is um, film study. So, I just thought it'd be interesting because I'm always watching boxing. So, why not have you guys watch it with me? It's my vlog channel. So,. While I'm watching it, might as well watch it and give commentary on what I'm thinking. So this one is Floyd Mayweather versus Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. Now this is in May, May 22nd, 2004 to be exact. I was motherfucking 12 years old and now I'm 27. Ain't that crazy? Damn. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> but um, let's get into the tail of the tape and then we'll just go like rhyme by round and we'll watch the fight. And the tail of the tape. Tail of the tape for Mayweather and Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, Damn. Washington, D.C. It's always my age. What am I doing in my life? Arm length advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the Five fist against eight. the guy who is regarded by many as a slightly bigger man because he's been Arm in this weight class his whole career. But he's basically the same size. At the so it was actually bigger. Pounds, and tonight, but he came up in weight. HBO scale as they enter the ring, Mayweather is the bigger man by a single pound over Demarcus Corley. Rules he's the taller too. It has longer arms. Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather Demarcus Corley fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules. Of the That's crazy. In the boxing commissions. There is we don't no even have HBO now. anymore. Only the referee can stop the fight. You motherfuckers are corrupt anyway. In case the fight is by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. Two. I remember this fight too. I remember watching this fight with my father. Okay, Demarcus Floyd again. Pay my command. I'm not sure whether I was like still in Queens or if I was in Long Island when this fight came out. This is crazy. I remember this was his first fight at 142. This is pretty blue Floyd. This is when that motherfucker was in there. Dang. This is the first time since that time he has faced a southpaw. Round one begins, and we'll see if Corley lives up to his stated goal. Of I just remember this fight. I just remember Floyd not having no respect for him in this fight. As other opponents have failed to do. Yeah, Corley said that he's going to put pressure on Floyd instead of laying back trying to box like most of the guys that he's fought in the past. It certainly makes sense because I think boxing Floyd Mayweather right now you can see they battle me for that side. lead foot. The question is, is it the, is it Corley's game oh. to do this? Well, you know, Floyd's biggest punch basically is his right hand. And if Corley can get away from the right hand, he'll neutralize his biggest asset. And to be honest, which I think that the most important punch at this stage has been the right hand from Corley. Corley trying to work behind his jab and move forward on Mayweather. Mayweather brought the crowd out of their seats with a big body shot that drove Corley. See right now, Corley, his foots keep coming on the outside, but they find you when you whenever you fight a south pole or a south pole fights like that's fight it. Me being a south pole, I always I was always taught to keep my, my, my right foot on the outside of their lead foot. You just have more leverage. Mayweather making clear that he expects to be able to use Mayweather's an exception to the rules. Right? The and then steps forward and hits oh. Corley with a straight right hand and another. Oh. It's interesting to note that both of these guys have very good amateur backgrounds. In fact, they was often in the amateur tournaments together, only at that time, Mayweather was fighting about 106 pounds, when Corley was always close to 140 pounds. Corley pressuring Mayweather into the corner and landing the back half of a big one, too. Corley's trained for the first time tonight, right now, Emmanuel, right by Don Turner. You know him so well from your days of training Lennox Lewis against him when he was training Evander Holyfield. What might Don do to change Corley a bit? Well, Don Turner is one of the good veteran fighters. In fact, Don used to work with the 
Kronk boxing team. It's one of our trainers in her late 80s. Don has been putting a lot of time on telling Carl to keep a lot of pressure on him and basically to not let him have that time to rest like most of the guys have had him let him do. Oh, oh. At this stage, I would be very honest oh. with you, this is turning out to be one of the most competitive rounds that I've ever saw Floyd Mayweather have as a professional fighter. Absolutely. He has indeed been physically challenged by Corley in the round. Oh. Corley is putting some work, though. It's not like... Mayweather has been very effective at this stage. But Mayweather has also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times and stun Scott. also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times. also managed to oh. his straight right a couple times and stun Scott. He switched southpaw and then hit him with a lead right hook. Oh. People ain't doing that. Only people that's really doing that is like... It's like Terrence Crawford. He still ain't throwing lead right hooks like that. It's crazy. With a straight right right under the jaw. Up now and left handed and right handed. Oh. So Who's Pedro? Who would Pedro fight like this later in his career? Pedro just made no mistakes. Even when you do things wrong and you have good speech, you still got away with it often. Last week, Buddy McGirt, trainer of Antonio Tarver, said to Larry Merchant, the way to stop the need is to go right at it. That's what Corley's trying to do when he hits Mayweather with a round out right to punctuate a highly competitive <laughs> round one. That was a good first round. See, in, in that round, Floyd, I wouldn't say he was, he, he did kind of go at him, but you got to understand that his whole philosophy when he stopped working with his pops because his pops was more like hit and not be hit but his uncle his uncle still told him to box smart and i'm pretty sure he's going to tell him in the, between the rounds but like from working with his uncle to to his to his father his father really emphasized on boxing and and hit hitting and not being hit that classic you know boxing rule is to hit and not be hit and his father emphasized on that now he's not working his father's more or less working with his uncle him and his father didn't have that great of a relationship but this was pretty boy floyd pretty boy floyd was a knockout artist he was knocking motherfuckers out he was not playing games and this was more honestly it was more entertaining to watch and and i think that's more or less what it what it was all about just being more entertaining being more of an entertainer and whatnot but, but um let's get into it you got a fighter, You see how far his legs get the part, man? Okay, after this. Come in behind. As strong or as stronger than Mayweather, and he's going to try to stay in his chest. Pretty high up on the body. That punch actually landed around the clavicle. And interestingly, in round one, he hit him with his chest. Seven power punches by Copy Box Count, but Corley threw oh. 28 back. However, Mayweather landing at a higher frequency rate and landed a good size left hook there. I think Phil felt that his power in the first round. He had no respect. I think he had no respect for him in the beginning. Char Demarcus Courtney didn't really have power like that to begin with. Never was really a big puncher. But he's hurt a lot of fighters. He just never was able to capitalize on it. I know he hurts Floyd in this fight. Certainly the biggest right hand puncher in the 140 pound weight class. So Floyd Mayweather's right hand shouldn't be too heavy for him. Well, I, I think different. And I think speed is a big, bigger factor because Casazo is a good right hand, but it's just a power right hand. But Mayweather has so much speed, and that's the biggest factor. And he's landing his right oh. hand, and now Corley lands a right hand straight up. Floyd kept shooting over that jab. Oh, right back oh, oh, oh. oh. Excellent body punching early here tonight by Floyd Mayweather. Well, you know, I never expected this type of a fight. I thought it was going to be a technical fight, but it's turned out to be a brawl for the most part. They're going to stand and trade shots, at least for the moment. And obviously, this is... Floyd so just don't have respect for him. Mayweather, who could use his boxing skills, like, but... See, Chop Chop keep, ca ca keep catching him, but he's just walking through his shit. ...stand and trade shots with... 140-pound fighter in his first trip to this weight class. That's crazy. It was his first, first time at 140. Usually when you move up, you don't, <laughs> you don't fight the bigger guys like that. But he's technically not bigger than Floyd. Floyd got big more reach to him. He's taller than him. He's heavier than him. And that was a reason I think a lot of his fights, he was fighting so defensively. Recently, his hands is healed up by him merely taking time off and letting them heal properly. And that's been, the, I think, the result of him having so much more confidence now. 
Hook to the box. But I think he was trying to stop it. Mayweather's friend Zach Judah was uh, fighting poorly. Mayweather was sitting in the audience urging Judah to become more offensive, to come right at Corley. And he is more offensive tonight. He's much more confident, too. And that makes sense, too, because you can see the way he's coming at Corley. The way he's coming at Chow Chow P. Eventually, in those later rounds, that pressure started to break him down. Back to his amateur teammates in the Olympics in 1996. And now he's talking about fighting Zab Jr. Oh. Actually, they were uh, together at the Olympic trials. Judy, you'll recall, didn't make the Olympic team in the 86. Of course, Wendy. Left by Corley, right on the jaw. Mayweather took it well. Having been upset by David Diaz in the trials. See, Floyd was not, he had no respect for his shit in his fight. fight. Very entertaining. For what? Send Mayweather off of he him. got flow with this shit though. To convince Mayweather there's no profit in standing toe to toe. Mayweather with excellent power punching numbers via copy box in the first two rounds. There is, 44%. There is a bit of a welt under the right eye of Mayweather, perhaps from that punch in the late stages of the last round. Oh. I'm very impressed with Mayweather's performance at the stage. He's standing toe to toe. He's out fighting Carly. He's not Keep shooting. Every time he come with that he left, that chop chop come with his 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 uh his right jab foot so shoot over. He shoot over with his uh with his left jab. Right? He come with a left hook. By facing a southpaw, but this southpaw is uh, coming forward, which takes some of the advantage off. Poor counter. I love the poor counters. Being left-handed. That's like his signature move. Besides shoulder roll. Very calm. That's more of a defense, so it's not really a move. As Corley continues to try to put pressure on him, coming at him. Maybe some blood in uh, Corley's nose. Mayweather's taking the role of oh. the aggressive fight in the fight. Trying to block Corley's shots and pick him off oh. and then retaliate immediately from close range. Inside. Another good right hand by Floyd Mayweather inside. Corley is indeed an entirely different fighter tonight than the man who fought Zab, Zab Judah last summer. Far more of a commitment to the fight. Can't seem to stop Floyd. He's hitting him with the lead rights. Them shit starts to take a toll after a while. Those don't even throw around it. That's going to be a big factor to going down the stretch if he can continue to land that punch. He don't got no respect for Coley. He just keep walking. He keep walking right in. Not even off the jab. Not a high guard. Oh. He hurt Floyd with that shit. He's still fighting back, but that shit stunned him a little bit. But make no mistake, he was stunned by the left hand. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Let's go. Mayweather has shaken it off and goes back after the, uh, Corley with that right hand of his. He buzzed him for a second, <laughs> but he kept coming forward. Troublesome round than the first two were for Floyd Mayweather. You could tell Floyd just don't got no respect. He's clearly dominating, but I think I think in this fight, Floyd really was trying to stop him. Like it, it, you could clearly see that he was really trying to stop Corley. Like, for real, for real. He didn't accomplish it, but he damn near did. I mean the ref could have stopped it, but he was definitely trying to stop him in this fight. Like, for real, for real. Numbers through the third round. Mayweather 55 out of 152. Corley 31 out of 160. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three and that thing's 30 I think, oh! Right, well, See? Corley hurt his ass. Once again, catches him and now tries to go to work. 
against the ropes. A right hand sent Mayweather back oh. to the ropes. Oh, oh. See, that's a problem. <laughs> See, see, Corley hurt him in that instant, but he didn't know how to capitalize on it. See, Chop Chop Corley has never been a pun never been a puncher, never was a puncher. And it's so funny, even in I th I'm not sure if it was his next fight, but he had fought Miguel Cotto, and he hurt Miguel Cotto too. Two two Hall of Famers that he hurt in fights, and he could have been and he could have capitalized on that and possibly stopped them. But he was never a puncher. He was never that caliber of fighter, and he didn't know how to capitalize on on hurting someone. It, he stunned Mayweather last round in the third round, and he really hurt Floyd this round. Floyd came back and bust his ass on bad, but like he just never knew how to capitalize on on like hurting somebody, and he didn't have power like that. They did anyway. But let's get back into this round. Early working the Mayweather, who's leaning back against the ropes. Oh. Trying to get in something good to the body. See, Floyd's hurt right now. But he's staying calm. But he is such good he's in such good shape that like his body's still up. Like he his body won't allow him to quit. On top of that, Chow Chow Cody don't know how to fucking gathering himself and coming back now. He tries to stop Corley's offense with body shots of his own. Mayweather's hurt, but he's still fighting back. Right left by Mayweather. Now Corley's hurt. There's an opportunity for Corley here if he can take it because as you, you just said, he is hurt. I think both fighters are hurt here. Yeah, there's an opportunity for Mayweather too. And we're only about halfway through the round. Uh, uh, Trading uh, shots at close range. Uh, Suddenly it's Gotti Ward 4 in a, in a pairing where we never expected to see it. But Mayweather's very good with those little short punches in close like this year. Uh, Whereas Corley has to yeah, get this a, was a good fight. swing room for him. Oh! Right oh! Oh, 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 oh. What a turnaround. He he took that knee, but he was hurt. The ref didn't count it as a as a I remember this fight. The ref didn't count it as a um as a motherfucking knockdown, but he was hurt in that fight. He was damn sure hurt. That should have been a knockdown. Especially with that fucking with that right hand he hit him with. That right hook he hit him with. Oh, Oh. See, Floyd, he was just trying to stop him. He wasn't even thinking. As some, I mean, where he was, but like, he was just taking that necessary shot because he had no respect for him. So he was just like, I'm gonna walk through this shit. And he got hurt. Of course, he got hurt a few times for it. That was a hell of a round. Listen, Floyd has probably been hurt a handful of times in in his entire career. That was one. What was another time he was hurt? <clears throat> I know. I don't. I want to say he was hurt with Zab, but Zab definitely knocked him down, and the ref didn't count it as a knockdown. I know one fight. I forget what it was. It was like some Mexican dude. Maybe he wasn't Mexican, but Floyd had broke his hand. And his hand was, he was in such excruciating pain that he had like took a knee because his hand was hurting really bad. He had gotten the A count. And um, it was another time, but I I can't remember. I can't remember. But um, very few times that Floyd has been hurt in a fight. And oh, oh, and Mindana. Mindana hurt him too. Like he had hit him, but he hit him like right on a bell. It was like in between. It was like in between a punch and Floyd like. <laughs> like <laughs> jumped up and stumbled but anyway um i'm gonna end this video right here and that's gonna be part one i'll make a part two and just also if if 
as you're analyzing the video with me, if I miss things, put it in the comments. So when I make part two, I'll like throw that in there because I'm still a student of the game too. I'm a professional fighter myself, but I don't know everything, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still learning. But if you have anything, if you picked up on things that I miss in this film study, say it and put it out there. Maybe in the next video, I'll do like some where I like put your comment in the video. All right. What's up, guys? Like and subscribe. Hit that um, like button and that subscribe button so we can grow and um, I can do better videos. So, get dig. <laughs> See the subscribes. Hit that. Boom. So you get the notifications. You know what I'm saying? 